Hello there, it's Lonnie here. Welcome back to my let's play of part 10. Well, it's nice to have you back. Let's get the game loaded. You have once again entered the world of survival. Horror. Good luck. So, let's give you a little recap of what happened last time. I imagine my health's incredibly low, yes. Um, oh, well, um, nearly murdered by giant snake, but to the rescue came Rebecca. And I've just been left off at that part from where Rebecca saved me. Let's give myself some healing here. And from the room where the snake was, we got the moon crest. Um, I assume the next part, the next thing for us to do is take that moon crest and put it in the slot, and then something potentially big is going to happen because it seems there's a lot of build up around these crests. Because I needed four to open this door. So, what I'm going to do first is I just re watched um, my last three Let's Plays, and I noticed that. I mentioned there was a room. Yeah, there was a a room that I f completely forgot to check. So first off, we're gonna go back there. I'm just mixing these two herbs together for safety measures, you know. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go back there first, and I may as well put this away and check it out. See if there's anything interesting in there, and also just so that I don't have to come back here, just in case we need the small key, I'm gonna take it with me. Uh, so yeah, I'm <laughs> feeling much better today than I was in my last Let's Play, I must say. Uh, overslept quite a bit today because I had trouble getting to sleep last night. I have really bad stomach pains. Uh, I think I might be pregnant. I'm not sure about that. Uh, I'm back at my mum's house now for Christmas. Um, uh, sat in the dining room. Actually, thinking about it, um, I'm in the same position that I was for part six of my Let's, let's Play. I'm in the dining room and I've just come back from playing Devil May Cry. <sighs> Devil May Cry. I'd really like to do a Let's Play of Devil May Cry, to be honest. Uh, I wasn't so sure whether or not to do it at first because it seems a bit overplayed, to be honest, but saying that, this is also rather over overplayed and people seem to be quite interested in it, so you know. <sighs> Still trying to sort out getting, uh, sorry. Still trying to sort out doing Let's Plays of PlayStation 2 games. Now, I rec if I recall, I could hear a squelching in this room. Potentially from a zombie somewhere or something. Aha. Uh, -huh. uh, let's just ignore him for now and go this way. Uh, hate new rooms. Oh, what's going on here? Uh, I'm sure I can move around this guy. If I just ignore the fact he's existing. Oh, great, ink ribbons. Oh my god. That is so good. Hey, mirror. And a few herbs. Ah, oh, damn. I guess I need to clear some inventory space, really, don't I? Okay, um, uh, I'm gonna BRB, um, yeah, I'll just drop you off here and then I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I'm back now, and what have I brought with me? I brought my shotgun, small key, and the combat knife. Uh, you'll see why in a bit, why I brought the combat knife. <coughs> but I figured the threat posed by this room is kind of lacking, so I don't need to worry too much. I'm just curious about this light switch. It looks like some sort of keyhole to me. Maybe it's just my imagination on uh, various things. Sorry, I'm just reading out what that said. Ah, there's a clip of ammo there. Hopefully my inventory doesn't get full again. I hate running backwards and forwards. Alright. 
I'm gonna regret this when I find out a boss is around the corner or something. Come here then. Boom! <laughs> I've always wanted to do that. Boom! <laughs> His head popped off. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'll stop it with the goofy laughter. Um, let's find out what's behind him. Ooh, what's this? The disc is locked. Yes! Bingo! Use the small key. Ah, oh, it's just some shells. Okay, I won't complain. I've got quite a lot of them, but I know I quickly I ran out of the pistol ammo. Let's reload the shotgun. <sighs> I'm quite glad I came back to this room. I completely forgot about it until now. So I went in here, stared at the mirror for a bit, and then... Yep, left. Um, now you get to see what I brought the knife for. <laughs> it's this guy. <laughs> Let's play stab the zombie while he crawls around aimlessly. I do love this game. <laughs> it's like reliving my childhood memories. Uh, I mean my childhood, not childhood memories. Oh, whatever. Uh, uh, getting too close. See, if he grabs onto my foot, I'm going to be pretty nom nom. So I'm just going to follow him around, stabbing him. Don't know what the point in that was, that. Uh, I mean, sorry. <laughs> point that was, so I just felt like it. And I'm sure you find it quite amusing. Stab the zombie and watch him while he crawls around in pain. Also makes navigating this room slightly easier, I guess. Nothing major. <laughs> nice big mirror. I wonder if I can draw these curtains. I wonder what the point that would be. I don't even know what I'm thinking about it. Nothing special. Let's re-equip the shotgun. <laughs> You don't have the key for this room. Okay, so I guess we've collected everything we need to out of here. So, that's everything out of the way, I think. Aside from that one... Um, aside from putting the last crest into that slot. Okay. Also found the use for that small key, so I'm quite happy with myself. Okay, now where is where the crests are. I tell you what, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go sort out my stuff for venturing into where where I need to put the crests. And then you can rejoin me. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. Okay ladies and gentlemen, I'm back and as you can see I've brought with me my shotgun, some shells and some mixed herbs for desperate measures. Uh, sorry, for safety measures, desperate measures. I don't know where that came from. And also I brought the moon crest, and I'm actually standing right in front of the thing where I need to put it. Okay, when the sun sets in the west and the moon rises in the east, stars will begin to appear in the sky and the wind will blow towards the ground. Then the gate of new life will open. So, let's open the gate of new life. Yes, I am. Yeah, sure. Sorry? Well, I'm currently recording something. My mum, everyone. <laughs> hey, could you turn the light back on? Why did you do that? <laughs> My mum just turned the light on for me. Yep. Um, sorry about that. It's a bit distracted. Did anything actually happen when I put that in? Crests are placed it in all the hollows. So does the door open now? Oh. Yep, it's definitely opening. Hmm. Sorry, I just swallowed hard then. Real hard. There's something at the top there, isn't there? It looks like some sort of handle for turning. Like a crank, you know. I'm an old barrel. Ah. See what I've got to do here. It's quite straightforward, isn't it? Oh, what's this? Let's hit small key. Yes, I shall. Let's push these stairs over to the to where the handle is. One. Whoops! Come on. There's a good pair. Of, there's a good set of stairs. I mean. Huh. How do I get behind it? Oh, there we go. I like the way he's kind of pushing it, but 
not really touching the, the top of it at all. Hmm. Okay. What's this then? Crank, yes, thought so. Now, where do I put this? Up Rebecca's backside, maybe? Oh, this two doors. I was I only thought there was one. Who? <sighs> uh, I hear something moving. Doesn't sound too good. That dog's looking at me, but it doesn't seem to notice me. Ah, oh, that's a lot of dogs. That is a lot of dogs. Now. That is a lot of herbs, too, out there. What to do? I've got a shotgun. Maybe I can shoot more than one at a time. I think it's worth giving it a go since there's so many herbs out there. I could probably heal myself anyway. Let's give... Yeah, let's go for it. Come on. 